The British Rail Class 156 is a diesel multiple unit train. A total of 114 sets were built between 1987 and 1989 for British Rail by Metro Camels Washwood Heath Works. They were built to replace elderly first generation DMUs and locomotive hauled passenger trains. The design of the Class 156 was more conservative than Metro Camel's earlier Class 151 design. The body shell was made of steel instead of aluminium, and the cab design was deliberately similar to the Class 150 to ease acceptance. In the late 1985, British Rail placed an order with Metro Camel for 114 two-carriage Class 156 units. Each unit was formed two driving carriages, one of which contained a toilet, and the vehicles were powered by a six-cylinder diesel engine giving the Class 156 a top speed of 75 miles an hour, or if you prefer, 121 kilometers an hour. Unlike the Class 150 units, the Class 156s have a single-leaf sliding door at either end of each coach. This reflected the expected longer journey time with fewer stops, that the Class 156 was supposed to operate. As with the Class 150, all the doors are operable by passengers when released by the guard using one of two passenger door control panels. These are energised using a carriage key to turn a rotary switch situated on the cab bulkhead. Units operated by a Bellio Scott Rail have additionally been fitted with door control panels near the centre sets of doors for the convenience of the guard. On the 10th of November 1987, 156401 conducted its first test run from Washwood Heath to Banbury. Class 156 was then introduced on new services from East Anglia to North West England, as well as existing services from Norwich and Cambridge to Birmingham. They also operated boat trains from Harwich to Blackpool and later to Liverpool. The new Class 156 was also delivered to Heaton, Neville Hill, Haymarket and Inverness, replacing the Class 155 units, being withdrawn due to faulty door mechanisms. On the 15th of June 1989, Unit 156502 was sent on holiday to the Netherlands as part of the Dutch Railway's 150th celebrations. It returned on the 10th of July. On the 21st of October 1993, 156405 became the first sprinter to accrue 1 million miles whilst working the 1010 Great Yarmouth to Norwich service. The first 100 were painted in Provincial Sectors livery of blue and beige with a light blue stripe. 20 units, based at Tysley Depot, were painted into Regional Railways Express livery after the rebanding of Provincial Rail. The last 14 units were operated by Strathclyde PTE and carried an orange and black livery. Following the delivery of the Class 158s in the early 1990s, the 156s began to be cascaded to less important services. As part of the privatisation of British Rail, the Class 156 fleet was sold with Angel Trains taking ownership of 76 and Porterbrook taking 38. These were leased to several train operating companies, mainly in Scotland, East Anglia, Northern England and the Midlands. As usual with this channel, we talk mainly about Scottish fleets. During the time of privatisation, the Scottish fleet passed to the National Express-owned ScotRail franchise, which used them until 2004 when the franchise was taken over by First ScotRail. All this passed to Abellio ScotRail with the franchise in 2015. They operate both on short distance commuter routes and on services of up to five and a half hours, such as the Glasgow to Fort William and Malague run. 
14 units continued to be operated by Strathclyde Partnership for Transport, or SPT, and originally wore its orange and black livery. This was replaced with a carmine and cream livery in 1997. All have since been repainted into Scott Rail's standard salt hire livery. Despite their past liveries, the former SPT units were not confined to any specific route, and thus worked in tandem with the rest of the 156 fleet on other routes, and could be seen in many locations around Scotland. Generally, units work interchangeably on local and long-distance workings. However, only the 15 Radio Electronic Token Block fitted units can operate on the West Highland Line from Glasgow Queen Street to Oban and Fort William Malague. In the event of severe disruption, Class 156s are also known to make rare appearances to Perth and Dundee, where they operated regularly until 2005. In September 2008, Transport Scotland announced that all ScotRail trains, including those of Strathclyde Partnership for Transport, would be repainted in a new livery of blue and white saltire markings on the carriage ends. The first 156 was repainted in this livery by Railcare Springburn in February of 2009. In December 2014, 156 478 was written off by Angel Trains after being damaged by floodwaters on the Glasgow South Western Line. The unit was, however, repaired and it returned to service with the Bellio Scott Trail in October 2016. In 2016, a programme to fit the units with disabled toilets and effluent tanks began. Conversion of the fleet was completed by December 2017. In 2019, five are scheduled to move to Northern after the Class 385s enter service. The Class 156 has been involved in a few accidents. On the 6th of June 2010, Unit 156499 struck a rockfall. It derailed and caught fire near Falls of Kraken. Eight people were injured. On the 17th of August 2010, 156417 was involved in a collision with a slurry tanker at a user-operated level crossing. 21 people were injured, fortunately only one of them seriously. And on the 22nd of January 2018, Unit 156458 struck a landslip and was derailed between Arisag and Glenfinnan. There were no injuries. And finally, on to the review. We've travelled on these trains a lot around Glasgow and on the Glasgow South Western Line to Dumfries. We like them, but they do have their drawbacks. Being diesel-powered, they are noisy, and if the windows are open, you can smell the exhaust. They're also looking quite dated and tired, even with their many refurbishments. We do prefer our electric trains, and we know that the Class 156 will be getting replaced by the electric Class 385 EMU. However, I think we will see them for some time on non-electrified routes. With the Class 385 being introduced to the newly electrified Glasgow to Edinburgh route, it has not been confirmed yet if the Class 170 DMUs will be cascaded down to replace the Class 156. Well, thanks very much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, share and subscribe for many more interesting videos.